Hi guys, welcome back to our channel. For today's episode of our Let's Plant series, I'm going to share to you how I pot my aloes and some basic care tips for newly potted aloes. At the end of the video, I'll show you an update of the aloes I potted after 4 months. By the way, for those new in this channel, I'm Kim Jason and welcome to the Plant Prince PH, the YouTube channel that joins you on your journey on collecting succulents. For more content just like this, make sure you hit the subscribe button so that you're the first to be notified when there are new videos released. The aloes that I'll be potting are from Belfiore Succulent Collection. They sell gorgeous aloe hybrids and TCT propagations. If you want to check them out, the link of their Facebook page is down below. These beautiful aloes are fresh from the box. These are all her hybrids except for this red one which is a TCT hybrid. As you can see, the roots are already trimmed and cleaned. In this case, there's no need for me to root trim them. In an instance where in you receive an aloe with a root ball or old roots, all you have to do is remove the old roots leaving only the healthy yellow roots. After removing, air dry the aloe for at least 3 to 5 days in order for the wound to heal. When patting aloe, I make sure that I have prepared all the materials I need. First is the potting mix. Make sure to use a loose, airy, and well-draining potting mix. I usually make my own potting mix composed of pumice, perlite, vermiculite, coco peat, and commercialized soilless medium. I make my own potting mix to ensure that the medium I use is sterile or free from pathogens. I'll provide a link to the video if you want to check out how I make my aloe potting mix. Next is top dressing. For aloes, I usually use fine akadama or fine pumice since it's porous and it highlights the aloe. Before using the pumice, make sure to wash it a couple of times to remove sand and unwanted waste or debris. After that, dry them under the heat of the sun for at least 5 days. This will kill harmful pathogen that may be present. I also use black lava rock since it highlights the color of the aloe, especially light colored ones. These are top dress using akadama. As you can see, when it is wet, the color of akadama is darker and when it is dry, the color is lighter. Meanwhile, I use pumice as top dressing for my aloe propagations since akadama are quite costly here in the Philippines. For fertilizer, I use Osmocoat. Osmocoat is a controlled release fertilizer feed. I use a controlled release in order for them to have the nutrients they need. Do not feed your aloes with fertilizer high in nitrogen. It will make their leaves stretch and lose their shape and color. For insecticides, I use a granulated systematic insecticide. The one I use is Starkel G, which is a Thailand brand. Its active ingredient is Tainotefuran. For the pots, I use a 3-inch white tall pot. I recommend to use white pots since white can reflect sunlight and will not absorb heat from the sun. Keep in mind that aloe's roots prefer a cooler temperature. When choosing the size of the pot, make sure that it is not much larger than the size of the aloe. A larger pot equates to having too much potting mix which means it will dry slowly and contain too much nutrients. Make sure also to use pots with drainage hole. As you can see, the pots I'm using allow good airflow. This will promote healthy roots and lessen the chance of root rot and disease caused by overwatering and provide air to the aloe roots. You will also be needing basic garden tools such as trowel or any scooping tool, chopsticks, tweezers, and brush in case you get messy on potting. 
Now that we have everything prepared, let's start potting. For this video, I'll be potting this Belfiore Aloe Hybrid. First is I add the potting mix leaving a few centimeter gap from the rim of the pot. In case you're using a larger pot, I recommend to put some pumice first in the pot. This will reduce the amount of potting mix and allow good drainage and airflow. Stage the aloe. Make sure that the aloe is centered and it is not buried too deep. Next is add fertilizer and insecticide. For osmocote, I add around 10 granules per pot. Finish with your chosen top dressing. For this aloe, I'll be using fine akadama. Top dressing is not only for aesthetic purposes. It anchors the aloe, helps stabilize the aloe in the pot, and prevent it from tipping to the side. Top dressing is also helpful to avoid the wet potting mix touch the lower leaves. Using tweezers, remove the top dressing that have gotten to the leaves of the aloe. Make sure also to remove potting mix that have resurfaced after putting the top dressing. There you have it, a newly potted Belfiore aloe hybrid. Here are some basic care tips for newly potted aloes. I place the newly potted aloe on my plant table wherein it can get full filtered sunlight. Keep in mind that my greenhouse has a UV plastic sheet and at least 50% shade net installed. Aloes need a good amount of sunlight for it to root faster. After at least 3 to 5 days, I water them at the rim of the pot, enough to make the potting mix a bit moist. The water I use is diluted with plant and root hormone. I mix this to help the plant stabilize and make the roots grow faster. I repeat this for a few times. On its third week after potting, I start my regular watering schedule for aloes. I make sure that when I water the aloes, the potting mix is completely drenched. After 4 months under my care, here's an update to the 4 aloe hybrids. These are the 3 Belfiore aloe hybrids. They have grown beautiful and their colors are already showing. And here is the Aloe TCT Hybrid. It has grown a lot since I potted it. Its color is bright and more intense now. Hopefully, this episode helps you a lot. If you love this video, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe to our channel. If you have any question, suggestion, or feedback, don't hesitate to leave a comment down below. Thank you for watching and see you on our next video.